All right, what's up, everyone? In this video, I'm gonna be unlocking the Dark Gauntlet. I was able to get this by my guild fighting a bunch of um, bosses, and you get those little crystals, the blue crystals, and once you get enough of them, I think like 50,000 or 20,000, something like that, you're able to unlock the Dark Gauntlet. So let's go ahead and open up this bad boy for the first time. The first time I'm having a unique gauntlet. It's a beauty. We're gonna let that rock out for a little bit. It's quite gorgeous. Now we're gonna go ahead and get into the specs of this dark gauntlet. Let's see. So the, the way that you increase the um, range is by when you hit with a, a power that deals damage. So I'm wondering if um, Brutus will be able to fill up this range, or even if you know you use the uh, Vox and he hits you with his ultimate, maybe that'll fill up the range. So the main focus is the warriors can increase their charge power faster, the hunters can deal more damage with the normal powers, the dark heroes can do more damage in the range. It does fury and it does burn as well. Um, we're gonna go ahead and level up what we can. Like I said, this is my first unique gauntlet and it's one that I've been looking forward to. I knew we was gonna get this last week after we fought this boss and so we finally did it. Towards the end of this video, I'm gonna open up 38 of the event chest from last season this is the video that i promised you guys about two three weeks ago whenever my last video was i promise this and i'm going to throw it at the end of this video all right so let's go ahead and level this stuff up i have a bunch of chests i'm probably gonna have to open up all these chests to get more of, of these little charms so we can level up this thing a little bit more so let's go ahead and do that so in a sec we're gonna go ahead and open up a couple of these chests so I can get more charms to upgrade these weapons. But thinking about who I would use, like we said, the Dark Gauntlet benefits the Warriors, the Hunters, as well as the Dark Heroes. So my pick would probably be, uh, we're gonna use Yermis. He would be really good. If you don't have Yermis, use a Warrior that's pretty good. Like I think Logan is a Warrior as well, but Vonera is the other person I'm thinking for. The Dark Mage, he's a Dark Hero, so he would be good. I would use those two in combo, so. So we went ahead and opened up a couple more uh, chests off screen. So we're back. I'm going to level up this a little bit more and then we're going to get some gameplay using a dark gauntlet and my pick of the two heroes that I think will work. Now I'm going to use high tier heroes and I don't expect you guys, all of you watching this video to have these high tier heroes. Um, so maybe I'll fight two battles. I don't know. We'll see. I'll use a low tier um, loadout and then I'll use a high tier loadout so you guys can get a good feel of this gauntlet.
the second round had a lot of edits because I could have used a better team. I just thought the Hunters, I wanted to give them some shine and see what they were like. This is what I was able to level up to so far. And so now we're going to jump into my 30 plus chests that I was able to open last season. It says 38, but I want to spend more coins to open up more chests. So let's run through this stuff. I'm going to speed up the video a little bit so you guys can um, get on about today. All right. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of this. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. I'm making more of these videos. I started getting into Battle Breakers as well, which has been really fun. I'm already at level 107, I think, and I've been playing for a few days. Like I said, I've been enjoying the game, so I'll probably make some videos on it, give it my full review, and let you guys know exactly what I think about it um, in more detail. Uh, but this season right now in Knighthood, um, it's a repeat season, so I'm trying to like level up my heroes that I already have from this season and Hopefully next season we get some new characters. I know they introduced the new guild shops and you can like sh Fix up the guild the way you want it I actually bought an outfit from the um, little guild thing. It's pretty cool uh, I wish they, they continue the storyline. That's the one thing at Knighthood you guys watch this video listening because I know you put one of my videos as one of the feature videos but if you listen to this video, let's go on with the story mode. I want to get my heroes up to level 50. That would be amazing. The rift has been a cool thing. I like getting things from the rift. And, um, nice little mask that I have. Um, like freaking cosmetics. It's cool and stuff like that. But I want to get the storyline going. So hopefully you guys are working on that. That's what I want to see the game moving forward. Um, that's my two cents on it. The season's a repeat. I think it was season before. I don't know if it was a repeat, but I know we, in this year, we had another repeat season, which is cool because I like leveling up my heroes all the way, like, Yermis. I didn't have him at even, like, two stars at one point. We did a repeat season, now he's at three stars, and he's a super powerful character. I was sleeping on him until I fought um, a high-tier player in the arena mode. And he had Yermis at four stars. I'm like, wow, Yermis is not bad. So, just little things like that. Like, I think this hero that I'm about to unlock at the end of this video, if you guys haven't guessed already, I'm gonna unlock him. He's pretty powerful too, but at one star, I'm just not gonna max him out. It's not worth it to me to max him all the way out. But I will max him out if he gets to two, three stars. Like, my, my unique heroes, if they're not at three stars, I'm not going to go ahead and max them all the way to level 45. There's too many gold coins. I'm not spending extra money on a video game. I'll buy the season pass, but I'm not going to spend a lot of money on the video game. So unless my, my unique hero is at 3 stars or higher, he's going to stay at level 25, 30. He's not going to go higher than that because I'm not going to invest all those coins, all that gold into the hero. Um, as far as this new character that I'm going to unlock, he's decent. I have him at level 30, and he's one star, and I didn't see the benefits of maxing him all the way out. But like I said, I fought against him at, at four stars, and he's really powerful. So until that day comes, he's going to stay hovering around 30. So yes, here we go. I unlocked him. I was super hyped because I thought his design was pretty cool. So super hyped about this. Um, and then I went ahead and bought some more troll hunt chests. So like I said, I wound up spinning... Um, I want to get 40 chests overall. Uh, I know the video, I might have said 38 chests, whatnot, but I want to be in 40 overall. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing this season. I'm going to save up all my chests until the very end because I like doing this. I don't care about getting the hero in, in the season. I like it at the very end. See if I can max him out and um, see how high I can get him. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave likes. Comments, share, let me know what you want to see next. And I'm going to check that other video that I made to see how many more likes it's gotten. It's, it's getting up there. And I'll be working on that second video explaining the different gauntlets, three more gauntlets. So remember, every time I get 100 likes on those videos, I'll make another set of the three gauntlets. And then uh, we'll go from there. Anyway, peace. Happy 4th of July.